Dear colleagues, this is fecal emulsification of a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. This is the main incision. 2.8 millimeter keratoma has been used to make this main incision. Now, SPMC hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose has been used to fill up the anterior chamber. In this case, I have planned to make two side ports, one on the right side and another one on the left side. These side ports are of 1.2 millimeter size. Now, capsular excess is to be done. I use a 26 case bend cystitum to incise the capsule and raise a flap. Raise a capsular tag like this. Now, I use a uterita forceps to hold this tag and perform a capsular axis. I am supporting the eyeball with a cotton tipped Johnson bud and we can see that the patient is squeezing the eyeball but I am able to do this in spite of the patient is squeezing his eyelids. Hydrodissection, hydrodelineation done. The nucleus is rotated gently. It is not rotating very freely but doesn't matter. Now viscoelastic substance, dispersive visco injected again and now is the time to enter into the eye with the FECO handpiece. In this case totally easy FECO machine is being used. Sometimes we struggle a little bit to enter into the eye. In this case I have gone into the eye with bevel sideways then the bevel is now off little bit of cortical matter has been aspirated now two or three skulls and then i go a little deep into the nucleus hold the nucleus firmly and make a chop then i rotate the nucleus again and make another chop the nucleus is not very hard it is soft you may say it is grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. I am able to hold the nu nucleus quite firmly. In this case, the FECO power used was 60%, flow rate was 45 ml per minute, and vacuum is actual 450 mm of mercury. You can see the antechamber is very stable, there is no surge. I have read a little movement. This air bubble is not moving much. So it shows that there is not much turbulence in the anterior chamber. And I am quite far from the endothelium. We have come a long way from 1967. This year is the 50th year of fecal emulsification. and a long way from Dr. Kelman. Now we can see that the rexis is quite round. A bit of visco has been injected. Now cortical cleanup is being done. Dear colleagues, doesn't matter what you use. Whether you use a coaxial IA or bimanual IA or this very simple instrument Simco cannula, doesn't matter. You have to clean the cortical matter all around very nicely. There should not be any cells sticking to the posterior capsule. Posterior capsule should be polished. Sometimes I use the jet of irrigating probe to polish the posterior capsule. That's it. The posterior capsule has been polished. Now this is the lens. In this case, I'm using a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens and it is being irrigated under it is being implanted under irrigation the leading haptic has gone into the capsular bag now the trailing haptic has also been placed in the bag little bit of moxifloxacin is injected and now the side ports are hydrated dear colleagues this is an almost unedited FECO surgery 
the lens is unfolding very slowly. This is actually Acreol from IO Care. This lens is quite good. I have not seen much of glistening in this lens over the past several years. Now this is the final wash under B with VSS. I go behind the eye also and irrigate fluid behind the eye well. This is the final wash from the anterior chamber and come out. We must be very meticulous. We must not inject anything at the conclusion of surgery if we want to avoid TAS. Thank you very much for your attention.